not have pissed off, hardworking American citizens, law-abiding citizens, paid their taxes, and some of you know, we served our country militarily, and all, and how the hell raised our grandkids here, raised our kids and our grandkids here, you know, you know, and everything, and then all, you know, and uh, we see this crap, and we're supposed to just say, oh, oh, what the hell, you know? I'm sure they need it. Well, how about needing a job? There's lots of jobs out there. Go get jobs first, and then maybe you you got to work at least some so many hours and, and and everything like that some kind of work program before you're going to get any kind of handout uh yeah and uh yeah that's the way it is that's the way it should be anyway you too damn right damn you too damn right <laughs> eha is right take my mother please no not my mother what Take my wife, please. <laughs> well, you could take my wife. No, you can't. Uh, anyway, where are we going to go here now? Maybe I should just go into some... Uh, yeah. No, it's not time to Diddy Mao just yet. i got to do a little bit of a show here. And then i got to get out and maybe do some shoveling or something, you know? A little bit of that. Clean off the cars and stuff like that. How about you guys? That, look, that sounds like fun, don't it, guys? Huh? Yeah. But you met another, and you were gone. Why, oh, why didn't you leave me this way? How could you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and thought I found true love. But you met another, and you were gone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's such a crazy morning, isn't it? It is TGIF. That's right, for you guys that's uh, off to work and working today, it's TGIF, thank God it's Friday, for all retired, medicated, senile farts like myself, uh, it's TGIF, but my TGIF stands for, thank God I'm fried, yes, <laughs> roll another one, <laughs> just like the other one. <laughs> That's some good shit, man. Oh, wow. Wow, baby. Anyway, it's coming, guys. Hang in there. It's coming. Go ask Alice. Yeah, when she was just small. Go ask... Oh, that's about Viagra. Oh, speaking of Viagra, yeah. The Villages of Viagra. My oldest and most dedicated sponsor, The Villages of Viagra. You guys, will you get up? You get on up there and check it out because the Villages of Viagra, their motto always has been since day one and always will be, the Villages of Viagra where even a hard day is a good day. You bet. How are you going to beat that? Even a hard day is a good day. All right. Where else are we going to go on to? Uh, yes. And the Mars Magazine that stands for Medicated and Retired Seniors Mars Magazine, they say that Captain Boomer, he he lets his meds do the talking. And yes, I do. Thank you. It's, uh, that's the way it goes. I like my meds. Yes. They, uh, except, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I had a med alert out the other day on uh, the other show because I'm running really low on meds. No, seriously. <laughs> Dropped the ball somewhere and, uh, and <laughs> uh, lost track of my meds. And I should have probably reordered them about a month ago. <laughs> and I'm going to be running out. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Help me. Help me. That's not funny. Well, I'm going to take the batteries on my stuff here because they're not as loud as they used to be. We did the Villages of Viagra, did we not? Yes, we are. And we did and we did touch on the cost of Donnie's wall and stuff. And we did cover the fact that one aircraft carrier, uh, on average nowadays, and as a matter of fact, there are at least one, maybe two. One for sure in the works. It's over halfway done. I don't know which is, is that the Ford or a new Kennedy or Kennedy or anyway. Um, yeah, it's going to cost roughly upwards of twelve to fourteen billion dollars. That's with a B, billion dollars. Uh, so that's not e. That's uh, 
Donnie's wall is not even half that. So, and then you've got to figure in all these other these other ones that were already built in the last 10, 15 years. They were running on the average, well, I want to say between five and probably eight billion dollars. So you just got to, and then you just got to cut back on these fancy, brand, these new these new fighter jets. One of those bastards go for like a billion. Some of them, I think, I don't know, or half a billion at least. Uh, you know, that just scrap out. You know, we all got to cross the far list, don't we? Okay, Donnie just goes over me militarily. I'm going to scratch off about four or five fighter jets, and that'll pay for my wall. There you go. You know, and that's the way it, it, could, it could work. But no, we're spending more money on... Oh yeah, did you guys hear about this? I, I, I had it on my program the other day, and it's called Rage Yoga. You guys might want to try this. Me personally, uh, I, I, I rage yoga without even thinking about it. It could be yoga. Um, and besides throwing axes, and I have no idea, these insurance companies that just have got to be pulling out their hairs. Okay, I want to open a bar up, and you know, uh, no, the darts ain't cool enough, you know. I mean, once they stick in your head, I mean, you know, it leaves a small hole. Oh, come on, we want to see someone's head just split open with an axe, man. You know, that'd be really cool. You see these insurance companies. What, what are you thinking? I know, let's mix alcohol drinks. And by the way, we'll have three for once. And uh, no more happy hour. We're going to have happy days. <laughs> you drink all day, baby. And then we're going to go and throw axes. All right. Hello, insurance companies. You see where we're going with this? What the hell are they thinking? Oh, there, that, that is the cuckoo award right there of the year. God almighty. What? Oh, jeez. I'm telling you. Anyways, this rage uh, shit, rage yoga is where uh, you do your yoga stretch or whatever it is, your yoga position, and then you're supposed to swear at the top of your lungs, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, and then you take a little break and you, a short break, and while you're on your short break, you're supposed to slam down a beer or a drink or whatever the hell. Then you go back into your yoga position and continue saying, fuck, 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 at the top of your lungs. Okay, let's go back to the cuckoo board on that son of a bitch. God. Oh, boy, I don't know if there's... Uh, I gotta get some coffee. Hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. And you wonder... Okay, and this goes right with the, with the cuckoo. Cuckoo, uh... Cuckoo bird guy here. Okay, uh, you guys want to get yourself turned around? As who doesn't want to get yourself turned around? Right, guys? We all want to get ourselves turned around. Right? Because after all, this guy says it all. Right. And if you need help, you check into the Hokey Pokey Clinics. They're around the Twin Cities. Trust me, they're out there somewhere around. Um, you check with the, the studio here and I'll get the information out to you. Um, the Hokey po Pokey Clinics are out there. And their motto is where you can turn yourself around. I like that. You can turn yourself around. And boy, I'm telling you, the way things are these days, we all could use, well, more meds and stuff. I told you about the family med, med program, didn't I? Didn't I tell you about that? That's where, you know, the family, because, boy, I'm telling you, I get low on meds. I was just speaking about that, but you get low on meds. Hell, I can go to a family member and get some more of my meds, because we're all practically on some different meds now anyway. I can get meds for my grandkids. Yeah, and vice versa. Sure, why not? You know how many people run Zoloft and stuff? Yeah. Millions of us, you know? So you run low, you join the family. It's the family plan. That's what it is, the family med plan. And you've heard it here first only on Captain Boomer's podcast. And anyways, um, last week, I can't remember what day it was, but we had, uh, well, we actually we had two or three. One was Mon, Mon Pa Kettle's Day. Yes, Mon, yeah. You guys remember Mon Pa Kettle? Oh, God, I love that. I love that show. I loved all those old shows. I'm sorry. I just love them. Uh, God, I wish we could go back. Boom. Where's that magic wand that Hermione Granger has? Huh? Lavi o Sol. Not Lavi o Sol. 
and uh, zap us back to uh, 1962 or whatever. Anyway, um, uh, <laughs> Mon Pa, it was National Mon Pa Kettle Day one day last week. Uh, thank you. God bless Mon Pa Kettle. I love him. 13 kids and the old man. Pa didn't work a day in his life, and if I could find his secret out, man, that, that'd be great, wouldn't it? I'm telling you what, they, they, didn't have no, they didn't have no food stamps and shit back then, I'm telling you what. Pa Kettle could figure out what the hell to do, why can't we figure out something, you know what I'm saying? Anyway... Captain Boomer sta uh, Podcast is a military appreciation station. Always has been and always will be. God bless you guys. No matter what your MOS is, where you are, and all that other stuff. God bless you and thank you. Thank you very much for everything that you do for our beliefs, our way of life. And thank you for, for just being there. And God bless all you guys, gals, wherever you're serving. God bless you guys. You bet. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we're moving right along. Ain't got no rain barrel, ain't got no cellar door, but we'll be jolly friends forevermore. My mom used to play a lot of that stuff, that old ragtime crap on piano when I was a kid. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Wow. I love ragtime. I grew up listening to that old ragtime stuff. And, you know, old Boston Brown when he's acting the clown. Do, 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 do. And he hollers, come on, let's go, hail, hail, the gang's all here for the Alabama Jubilee. Oh, I loved it. Thank you. And I don't know if I told you the story or not, this is a true story. My mom, God rest her soul, um, my mom played for, and that's why I've I got a special place in my heart, kind of for for Clellan Card. Clellan Card was the was the was the actor that played Axel. And Axel uh, in Axel's Treehouse, uh, WCCO was the, was a station. I know that for a fact. Anyway, anyway, uh, my mom, because she played piano professionally and whatnot. My mom got a gig. She played uh, two summers, I think, uh, playing piano, backup music or something, whatever. In uh, with Clellan Card, not as Axel. I mean, Clellan, this way before Clellan Card became Axel. But Clellan Card, I, I don't know if he was singing or had a talk show. I don't know what the whole format was. But my mom did play piano uh, with Clellan Card uh, on some, uh, obviously, it was a radio show, uh, OWCCO. Um, but anyway, and I, and I don't even know if it was called WCCO back then. It might or not, it might not have been. <clears throat> but anyway, my mom, so I do have some kind of ties my mom did with Axel. That's why I got, I love Axel. Yeah, get out there now, and yeah, Towser and Tallulah, they've been found, and that is a good thing now, right, guys? Yeah, 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 but don't bring that Carmine the nurse with you. No, that woman, I tell you what, all she wants to do is, you know, Give you colonoscopies, and I, I, I don't go for that stuff. I'm not that kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay then. <laughs> oh boy, I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? Hey, and don't forget, guys, there is uh, there is Pig Latin workshops out there. Ooh, yeah, are yeah, a day, um day, ucker fay. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and anyway, uh, Okay, you guys want to know the longest title song <clears throat> in the world? Yes, it, this is it. And I'm not, this one's for real. I, I'm not bullshitting. This one I heard a long time ago. And this is the longest titled song. Uh, and I suppose, well, I would imagine it's in the Guinness World Record book. Um, here it goes. It goes like this the longest title song. Walking the streets of Yokohama with my Honolulu mama. Singing Beto, Beto, Flat on my Cito, Hero Hito Blues. Thank you. That's it. Yeah, that's it. 
and <laughs> yeah there you go